We thank God for his supernatural power. I bring you heavenly greetings in Jesus' name. Amen. May the heaven in Chiabrao I am still talking about the ability to see. Migusua e kasafa de betumi amua huna de ye eh. Let's hear the heavens report for today. I am the Lord God Almighty. Everything is mine. I share nothing with anyone because I created everything. Whoever takes my glory and makes himself equal to me is an abomination to me. So if you don't want to be an abomination in my sight, worship and give glory to me as my creation. Thus says the Lord. This is Pastor Dr. Kukudazi reporting live from heaven. Yenti ene heaven amane bono. Miye erade nyame tumfo. Bibia eye media. Mene obiara enche bibiara. Esanse me na me bo ade yin an obiara ofa meni monyam na oye ne ho se de one me eye pe no oye ebusude e ma me se wo mpe se wo be ye ebusude e wo meni mo so me na fa eni monyam ma me se ma bodi e se de urade se ni we yo sofo dr kukudazi mama ne ba May the free heaven. Amen. I have been talking to you about the abominable things that demons induce some people to do. And last week, I ended my sermon by telling you that you should not take any physical object as God. Yeah. Because a physical object cannot be God who is Spirit. Me kasachre u efa ebusudia adamoni pia pia ni pa binum ema wanye ehu na na uchu uchu emano me vye masema kana wabra me kachre u se memfa adi biara aya huna madi se aya nyami isanze huna madi aje into me nye nyami ya oye humano. If you take a physical object to be God, you want to say that God is not one. That object can also be God, and that is the abomination. Se ufa hunama diese e nyame a. O pese o kan se nyame onye baaku. Na saade no so so betumi aye nyame. Na enone ebusudien. It saddens me that regarding worship, many people don't reason well. E ma rehupa se, se eba osumne mahua, ni pepi enwini ye. What demons are doing to many people is that once they know something or believe something, they let them hold on to that knowledge or believe without any shift. It's like, hey, this is what you know or believe, so don't change it. The Adamoni Adiye Nipa Piyeni say, say, Onim Adiye Bi, Anase Oji Adiye Bi Dia, Omomu Kura Adiye Na Onim Numu, Anase Di Oji Diye Numu, Abraham peso obesi sanu. Na kwa iti se, hey, the unim anase the uji di eno, mensi sanu. Demons don't let people sit down to do concrete and truthful analysis about their beliefs and arrive at a logical conclusion. 
they don't let them do that. They make such people very conservative and dogmatic. But I say that dogmatism and conservatism without reasonability is stupidity. Let me repeat. I say dogmatism and conservatism without reasonability it's stupidity. Dr. Kukudazi said that. Adamoni emani pantrasi na wayensisiya emudo na eye nukware afa wanjidi yon na mawatumi e jina jina biya gyansa wo. Ome nipa piye nipa wong pensisa no pese di onemino ekaho. Na mensu misi am pensisa na upese di onimbi akaho wabira ajini eni mono. Aye jimi sem. Misi subio. Misi am pensisa na upese adie biya onimino ekaho no wabira ajini eni mono. Aye jimi sem. Dr. Kukudazi nekaye. Those are the people who continue with what their forefathers did without thoughtfully checking if those things were good or bad. Please God or infuriate him. They don't mind. They just continue. Wabra one dream who pa and she said, Sesan ne manu, ne ye, anase ne ye, a son ya me any, anase a shena bufu, and ye yo masem gra, omni a tuano motuaso. Just for the fact that those things were practiced by their ancestors, then they must be good. There shouldn't be any change. And that is very, very bad. Chese, chrae, chese, saani emano, omu nananum na ye ye die. E chese, saani emano ye. En ti en sese, en si saan ebiara eba hon. Nenu die, e nye kwa. I also told you last week that you shouldn't compare yourself to God in any way. You should not see yourself as God. Misan susu kachira u na ochu yetu ya munu se. Men fa hon tutu nya me hon awa kwa biya so da. Men hon hon se. Uye nya me. If you see yourself as God, it is stupidity in the highest form. Se u hon hon se uye nya me ya. E ye jimi se mba e tra bi biya so. Why? As a human being, have you forgotten that you have parents? Eh? Have you forgotten that you were born? God, that you want to compare yourself to, is God by himself. He has no parents like you. No one gave birth to God. Therefore, if you have parents and you still see yourself as if you are God, I don't know how to describe you. Demons have made you a ninkam poop. Se uye nipa da senino. Ade ure fise uwa ufu adan. Ure fise ye uwa adan. Nyamia upese udi uhun etutu ne hono. Oye u nyamia oti ono ankasa nasi. U niya ufu eti se u. Enyo ubiya ne uono. And on this, I will fall. Nessa Ugusua, who said, We are Yamia. Me name said, Yea, means it and nobody. A damn I yell or judging tree. I would need three. And if you follow anyone who says he is God, you have also lost your mind as your leader. Nessa Udio Bia or see Oye Yamia cheer. You should not take any physical thing that is controlled to be God. 
ye be to me adane dane no se e nyame god controls the universe from his throne and no one can control him nyankopon adane dane e wi ase e free na hene mu e ye de ope na obiara into me dane dane no therefore if you let an object that can be controlled be your god you are very insane what is made can never be god because my god is not made he is the one who made me he is bigger than the biggest he is mightier than the mighty and greater than the greatest he has the whole world in his hands and the earth is his footstool hallelujah Amen. so no one can be compared to god enunti so fa adia ye betumi adane dane no se e ye wnyame a wa boda mpa adia ya ye no entumi nye nyame me nyankopon ya nye no e ye onumom e na ye me o so che de o so pa no ye din che de ne ho din pa na wiase ina e che ne sem na sasi so e ye ne nasi ntia so enu ti obi ni ho ye beti me din atutu nyame ho how would you feel if you are a carpenter and your son takes a table that you have made and says that the table is his father eh how would you feel you will feel offended and insulted you will say that your son has lost his mind yes that is the insult that idol worshipers give to god who created them they take what god has made to be their god so we are carpenter ne say table a one kasa wa ye no o ba ko fa sa table ni say ni papa ni table no o ka adie na o be ga be o say ka be how pa na o be ka say o ba na didi o atem na o be ka cross no say o ba na em say wa bodam sa ni atem didi a wo na sum akua ba ana ho ni ni bia no o didi di nyame no wo fa adie nyame aye say God hates that. That was why his first commandment to Israel in Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 was that they should not make for themselves a carved image, a likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. They shall not bow down to it or serve it because he is a jealous God. So God doesn't want his people to have any other God apart from him. Yes. 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 Ma wo nye honini biara. Anasa die biara ni seso e wo heaven. Anase adikronu seso e wo asasiso. Anase e wo ensiomu e wo asasi ase. Ma wo mu mo wo mu mo ase. No wo mu nkutu sa die ni nsomu no. E sanse o ye o nyame don komfo. Yes. Neche se nyanku pa mpese ni mkrofo ebe nye nyami biyara. Akane hon. God said, if any man does that, he will punish such a father and his children to the third and fourth generations. You see, that is the generational curse I've been talking about. Nyanku pa mkan se, se be me biya yesa ha. Obe chisa e janu ene ni maso e di akosi a wantu atuwa so miensan ene naiso. Wawun, 
weni a want to at was on no me no e a make ho asem kire wo that father and his children will suffer a generational curse and that curse will run through his bloodline for about 200 years that is serious oh that man and his children's children will suffer sabe man oni ni ma ebe huna man ni wa want to at was on no me mo na sa no me no ebe nam ni mo janu mu sa akodru mfie be ahenu ehu pa o na oni ni ba eni ni mama nya ebe huna man ba so taking any object to be god is a very serious issue before god na che se o fa adie bia re ho na ma die se e yenyame no e asem kase e pa e wonyame anim that is why i say that if you love yourself and your children don't take any physical object or any human being to be god and insult god who created all things and unti na me kan se se wo do wa wo ho ene wo ma me mfa ho na ma die bia ra ana se ni pada se ni bia se oye nyame na wo ni di nyame a obo ade yi na no atem but strangely even an organization that claims to be a church has rebelled against this stern warning of god in Exodus chapter 20 verse 4 they have made statues which are supposed to be Mary Jesus and Peter and they make their worshipers bow down to worship them the people in an organization that claims to be a church have become idol worshipers then so on one seven is it e kuwa eno na e pa kire se ya sore no o ma sore etia nyankopon koko boke sie pa no ya din ya e wo esedo so nguma tie di onu chiche mu nan o ma ye ye honini bia o mo pa kire se e ye mere e radi yesu eni pita na o mo ma o mo asore ma no ekotukutu e sore won ni je se ni pa e wo e kuwa Omo na e pa kire se ya sore no o ma dane abosom som for they do what god hates they bow to such statues and pray to them whereas god says his people should not do that that is serious rebellion they are doing that to infuriate god wo mo ye de yakopon time Omu kutu kutu sa ahoni nuno na omu bompa ye edi chere wamu wabre nyangu ponso sisi mema ninkrofu yensa omu yedi eshe nyami ya bufu such an organization is not a church they don't follow God's commandments they are doing their own thing ikuwa eti sano enya sorry omo ndi nyankopon hiseye echi omo ye omo nkasa debi it is a rebellious group of idol worshipers eye etiatu foa we ya busum sum fo so if you belong to such an organization and you also bow to those statues you are not worshiping god you are an idol worshiper anu ti sa odom sa ekuo no ne se ukutukutu sa ahone ne no a enya nyame e na osom no u ye obosom som ne god's children obey his commandments we don't rebel against his word we don't do what he hates we do what pleases him nyame made yetie ne mransem yen sorintia nyame asem ye nye de otan ye ye de esonani therefore if you see yourself as a child of god 
don't take any physical object to be God. Else, you will become an abomination before God and bring a curse on your bloodline. I don't say, oh, who say, oh, yummy bar. Men fa hunama de biase e yami. I yes, ah, obey a busu de e yami enim. Now de no men so so about mojem. Aside taking an idol to be God to worship it, another abomination is to worship a fellow human being as if he is God. Say, oh, ye, honini bia. Nipa binu mo fati se diye eye nyame na o ma som no no to nchen ya. E busu diye biye o enso ni se. O be som o yonko nipa da se ni. Na ma na kami aye se. O non so so eye nyame. God takes such a thing very very seriously. Nyame fa sa diye ne ni bre so pa. Because no human being can be God. So no human being deserves to be worshipped. The son said, "Ni pada se ni biya to me nye nyame. And the answer said, Ye kutu sorry ni pada se ni biara. Worship is a show of reverence for a supernatural power. And it is only God who deserves it. O sorry ye diye. E chile o buo ni ni diya. Ye di ma tumia e chen sopa. Na e ye nyamen kwa. E ne As human beings, we all have someone who is above us. It could be our parents. It could be our siblings. It could be the boss at workplace. It could be a leader. It could be a president. And it could be a monarch. We have to provide some services to them and honor them in our duties. But that does not mean we worship them. Se ye ye ni pada se ni ye ni na ye wo bia o su che ye ya o di ye nso. E be tu mi abase e ye ya o fo. E be tu mi so abase e ye ni anu mo mpeni mfo. Betu mi suwa basa e ye jume mu peni. Betu mi suwa basa o yo kandini. Betu mi abasa o yo mampeni. Ene betu mi suwa basa o ye o hene. E se se, ye ye e sum nyume bi, ni e di e ni di e ma wong, e wo ye jume ya, ye ye e di ma wong no e mo. Ne non chre se, ye sum wong se o ye nyaminti. The proper word to use is serve or service, not the word worship. Asimfwa pa no ye, jumediye, ne mum enye se, osom. If you use the word worship, you make a human being who is flesh and blood, God. And as I told you earlier, nothing physical can be God who is spirit. Se uko fa si mfwa e ye osomunwa. Uma nipa da senia o ye honam ni moja no. E ye nyame. Na se di e makache o dadano. A di e bie ni wa e ye honam a di a. E biti mi a ye nyame a. O ye honam. That was why God told Israel that they should not bow and worship anything that he has created. Enunti na nyame katre Israel for say, ma wamo nkutu nsore adie biara onu nyame wabo. God wants his creation to worship him only. So no human being deserves the right of worship that is due to only God. Because no human being created the universe. Yeah. It is only God who created everything. Nyanku pon pese na bodi e sum onunku an. Isan ze nyen ni padaseni ene bo viasi inya. 
ye nyamen kwa ene body ina so if you give worship to your fellow human being or anything that god has created you insult god and become an abomination and unti se o de osom e ma nipa da sani ana sa de biara nyankopon aboa o di di nyame atem na o ye ebusudie another abomination is to shed innocent blood ebusudie bia o ne se o be hwie moja asem ne ho ago if you shed innocent blood you become an abomination people shed blood in these two ways so hwie moja asem bia ne ho ago a o ye ebusudie ni pa betumi ahwie moja ago e wo kwan mienu eso the first way is to abort the life of an innocent baby e kwan e di kan eni se obetwa e motafo a onim hwe en kwan eso that is committing abortion na che se u yi nyin sen atuagu as god told israel life is in the blood so if you shed the life of an innocent baby you abort life and that is very very serious said ye nya me ka kire israel for no enko e wo moja mu enu ti se o hwie abofra onim hwie moja gu a wa twa enko so and no one has the right to terminate the life of another human being na ni pada sani bia ni ho a owo ho kwan se obetwa ni pa bi enkwa so but because of demonic sacrifice some women intentionally commit abortion na so so e san adamonia for the body e ma binum sheda e yin san togo if it's not because you want to sacrifice the baby for your demons to drink his blood mm-hmm. why didn't you prevent the pregnancy say nya say o pe say o di akoda no ba for e ma wada money ma wonum ni moja i didn't think that when seeing him say na no kwai because if you don't want to be pregnant there are many ways to prevent it isanse sa um pese obenyin se ya e wo kwan bebra obe fa so a obetume si ano kwan so my question is if you don't like the pregnancy why did you get pregnant enu ti masem bi sa ne se se um pegin se no a de ti na yin se ye it implies that the pregnancy was deliberate you want to use the pregnancy for demonic rituals as e che se nyin sen no o se da e ya o pe se o di nyin sen no e ya da mo ni nyan kuma de bintia because some women intentionally get pregnant and kill the innocent baby for their demons e san se ma binum she da pa nyin sen na o mo ku akoda ne hun ni asem no ama wa da mo ni and for deliberately being pregnant and intentionally shedding the blood of an innocent baby you have become an abomination before god na sa o sheda sa o benyin se na o san so a sheda a hie akoda ne hun ni asem bia moja to aguru why e abusudie e onyame anim if you don't know i'm telling you There are some women who did that and they never got any child again. What you aborted might be your only child. You will lose it and still receive a curse from God. So unimu ameka chira. 
wan hwe ya ngo babio e ma binum yesa na o ma ngo bio de unnim ni se e bia na o ba ye ba ko pe na no ana o yitugo ye no na wasan so so anya no me afri nyame ho because of abortion you have brought a generational curse on yourself e sa anya sa anya ntugo de would you want to at us or no me about you? Because the blood of the innocent baby will cry to God for justice daily. And because of that cry, you will never, never, never go free or have peace. A son said, Akodanoa, ni un ni asa mojano, de bia, ebe suan fri nyame. Se erade en tovre emano. Na sa suninti. O fao hu ni da. Na u nya su jensu su da. If you don't run to my Lord Jesus for me to ask for forgiveness for you, you are a walking curse. So wa inyani a mami ra yesu kristo in chain. A mama sre bonifache a ma wa. We no me aunamo. You and the doctor who performed the abortion are a case. Who any doctor no? Who he is any to go here no? We no me. And if abortion is legal at where you are, those who passed that law will also have their share of the generational curse and God's punishment. Na se bebi ya uwa nonso. Se ya shemra se utimi yi yi se tugunswa. Wa omu wa shia samra no. Wa omu se ombe nya omu chefa. E wa wantu atu wa suwa no meno. E ni nya mina sotu eno bi. God said. No one should shed innocent blood. So if you make a law. To allow abortion. You rebel against God's word. And give license to irresponsible women to kill innocent babies. Yanku ponsi, me mo biyan shiye mo jaya hon ni asem engu. Enu ti sa u shembra e pini ni se tu go soa. U sori tiye nyanku ponsi. Na u de krata, e ma ma asudye biya na wa omu su se. Omu yi ni se tu go, no mo kum 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 matafwa. So the woman who aborted the life of an innocent baby, the doctor who performed the abortion, and the lawmakers who passed that law have rebelled against God's commandment. Yeah. You shed innocent blood. Mm. Your hands are full of blood. Anunti, obanwa, uyi akoda, ni uni asembiya tugu yenu. Doku te di dun soa. Uye nyin se eni tugu ye no. Eni mrashe ni nyin soa. O she sa amra no. Man sorye ti ya. Nyan kupon emra. Man shye moja. E un ni ase egu. E moja. Aye mon sa homa. The second way. Is to murder your fellow human being. E kwa ye tosu miye nunu eni se. Ube kum nipa da se ni. If you shed innocent blood. The blood of the person you killed. Will also be crying to God. Just as Abel's blood. Cried to God. After his brother Cain. Killed him for justice. Se u shiye moja ya hu ni ase mguwa. Nipa nwa u kundu ni moja no. Obe suwa tiye mu. Achire nyame. Se diye ebe moja no. E tiye mu sufre nyame. Wabra ni nyo ya ken. E kono no se. Nyame. E nina se mu. Na on toyore emano. Yes. God said. Thou shall not kill. So if you shed blood in these two ways. You have rebelled. Against God's commandment. And that will bring the generational curse that I'm talking about into your bloodline. 
Nyanko ponse. Ma endi ewu. Enun ti se u shie moja gu. Ewo sa kwambye nu iswa. Wa sorry ti e nyanko pomra. Nenu ne di a wantu atwa so no me nwa. Me ka wanse me. Ebe ba u moja Yes. That is why I tell you that if you love your children, don't indulge in any of these abominable things. I don't think I may catch you, sir. Sir, Udo Ma, men yet, sir, a busudia mobiabi. If you don't run to my Lord Jesus for his blood to cleanse you, what you did has brought trouble on your children and their children's children. So why you are near ma a radi Jesus Christ ho? A man am fani moja no a ohoro ho a. De o ye ye no. E de o how abere o ma ene o ma ma ene o mo so ma. God has marked you in the spirit as a killer. Just as he marked Cain after he killed his brother Abel. If you don't repent, you will also be killed. Nyame asan wenim e wo sunsu mu se wo ye wudi ni se de nyankopon san ken yenim wo abra wo kun ni nua ebel no so one sacra wa dwen pa on so so bibeku and after that the killing will be on your children and their children's children because you have brought killing into your own bloodline Na no achino a woodie no a be si o ma any woman so so a maso. E sanze wan kasawa kofa a woodie aba mojadum. Your children and their children's children will also be killed because you killed someone. O ma any woman so so man so so ye be kunkum wom e sanse akokumobi. If you know the spiritual repercussions of murder and also what murderers go through before they die, you will never think of murdering your fellow human being. So, when you must swap a war with the Husun Sumo, and I was also soon named the a wood for Femu Pa and San Oma Wupa and Kaum Unida, so become a young Kunipada. So, don't shed the blood of a baby or any other person if you love yourself and unti sa uda o hu we na wo nhwie akoda bia moja enwo ana se wo nkum obi a another abomination is when the followers of a monarch or a president praise and equate him to god that is another serious one. A busudia bio and he said, O Hinibi, a nase, O man, penny be a chitty for a bono se hua hua no, na ordinary to two nyameho. And no see a dear bakwa e humpa. If you are a monarch or a president, don't let your followers praise and equate you to God. Yeah. It is abomination because you can't be god say we your hini ana say o man peyini me ma wachi di fo e mo se ho ho o na won fa won toto nya me ho e ye busu de e fi say un to me enye nya me the lizard said it is not worried about the one who hit it with a stone it is rather worried about the one who stands by and says to the one who threw the stone that, hey, your eyes are sharp, oh. That is what annoys the lizard. Kutresi, di otu bo bo no no, en hano, se di o jinan chenya, o kachre di otu bo bo no no, se, hey, weni jini pa o, enu ne she kutre bo fo no. That is how it is with God. Mm -hmm. It is the followers of a monarch or a president 
who infuriate God. Sa and a tear a win ya men so a yo hini bi and now se o man pain bi a chidi for and a shet nya me bufu. They are the ones who praise such leaders and equate them to God. And that annoys God. Womu na womu bo sa akendi fo nu se na womu di won to tu nyan kupon na nuna e shenya me bufonu. It is because of siko fancy and flattery for money and favor that makes such followers do that. E ya hua hua eni a defe a defe subany a wadi pesika eni ni peni mwa dumunti and a massa a chidi for no yesa. That was what happened in the era of King Herod. Sani si wo o in Herod abreso. His followers brought God's wrath and sudden death to him. Ne chidi for the nyanku pon bufu and him petu wo ebanesu. As King Herod sat on his throne. In Acts chapter 12, verse 21 to 23, the people kept shouting and said, The voice of a God and not of a man. Hey! Wabra hin herod tina na hin wum. Ewa smafu wumano. Ti du mi enu chiche mu di onu baku di kosi e di onu mi ensano. Ni pano gusu tie tie mu e kanse. Nyame bene. Nemum and yen nipa da senene. Hey! It was serious, oh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And because Herod liked to be equated to God and didn't give God the glory, an angel struck him and spontaneously he was eaten by worms mm. and he died. Yeah. It was very, very serious. Now, his son said, Herod, so so here in a day. Say na ye dini tutu nyanku pon hon. Na wa mfa ye ni mo nyama ma nyame no. A munu mo wa. O bo fu bi chia di ti. Na en son son. E be di ni nam. God was saying that. Eh. You people say that Herod that I created is like me. Look. I'm going to let worms eat his body right now. And you people will see. That you are following a human being. The enemy may can say, "Eh, Musa and Kofu are more patches. A herald or me, my bono, no, or no, no, what is a me? Mother Moshe, me be ma and sons not the nipper. Do you see here? And bones and Musa and Kofu, nipperchi and a moody. That is how serious it is to praise a human being as if he is God. And no ni huwa e hupa se. Ubo ni pada se ni abaso. Eti se di oye nyamia. So if you are a monarch. Or a president. Take cues from what God did to King Herod. And don't allow your followers to praise and equate you to God. Because. It will bring God's wrath on you. And no ti sa uyo hene. And na o mampeinia. Si ya bibi fri di ya nyanku pon di ya o hini hero do num. Nen prinsu ma wa chidi fwa huwa huwa wo. Nen fa wun tutu nyame hon da. E san se. E di nyame ya bufu wo. E beba wo. It is the sycophantic praise. And the glory. That followers give to leaders. That cause. Their sudden deaths. E ya defe defe fwa a huwa huwa. Eni en mo nyamwa, e chidi fwa di ma kendi fwa no. Enu ne ya, e di won petu wo ni ba no. Whether a monarch or a president will live long or die shamefully depends on the praise and the glory his followers give to him. Se, o hini bi, ana o mampe hini bi be hini ache. Ana se o be uwo eni mguasi e mwa. Ni ina jina aye ye ni ni mo nyamwa ne chidi fono edi bemano no eso. 
So if you are a monarch or a president and you don't want to attract God's wrath, don't allow your followers to praise and give God's glory to you. Anunti, so you are here, and now on my penny, now on person, you are coupon buffu show power be bauswa. Men penso ma we chidi fo emo se na omo mfa nyame ni bonyam e ma all leaders around the world should comprehend that whatever you achieve is by god's grace and strength i can the four we are here for nine na anti asese adie bia ra obetumi aye bia no e ye nyame adom ene na ho den dia because some leaders didn't live long and others couldn't achieve anything. Others also ended their reign in shame. It's answer. I can defo binum a yinanche. A binum so so crying to me a yari. And a binum so so de omu ye o mahinye no wedim gwasib. So don't let your achievements make it seem as if. You are God. And don't remember the who to me are no. And coming yet he said yeah, we are What was interesting in the case of King Herod was that, as the people shouted and praised him and said his voice was the voice of a God, it was only King Herod that God killed. Don't you see? It was very interesting. The Nye Nikawo or Hin Herod as some no one in say. Wa bre ni panu tia tiemu a bo ni se aomu kanse ne neno. Na e ye nyan kupon neno. E ye herod un kwa ne kuno. Onze na asemna e nikaba. It was very sad, eh? The followers didn't die. It was only Herod who died. So as a leader, don't let your followers bring trouble to you. A chidi for no woman, Herod don't go on a way. And when they say, We are Candinia, men make chidi for no for how be amro. If you love yourself and your children, don't do any of the abominable things you heard today. If you do that, you hate yourself and your children. Because God's wrath and punishment will affect you generationally in Jesus' name. Amen. Se udo hon ene o mapa me nye busudye mu biya o te ene ibi da. Se u yesa u tan waga sa hon ene o ma. E san se nyan kupan bufu siye ene na soutien e be kan wo a won to atu asu o mo. Amen. Amen. If you want to escape the wrath of God, give your life to my Lord Jesus Christ by praying this prayer with me. Sa um pese nyankupon e bufu shie be bauswa. Fa huma eradi Yesu Christo. Wa bra one me bosa ampaye. Lord Jesus. Eradi Yesu. I thank you for speaking to me today. I accept that I am a sinner. But from this day forward, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are the only Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Let your Holy Spirit dwell in me. And I will live a holy life to please you. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for speaking to people so that they will realize all these abominable things and depart from them and run to you for salvation in Jesus name amen amen danya mi sirawo nenso papa 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 
or the four we see a a doctor cuckoo does a free and a or day a radia sub crazy free so a bro and no pay. So per so tea a semibium, a bessie subium, who cooer down if ye are that and you may non so with me at TB. Now per so we pay a child crying on near Bessum Sua. Ye were holy land, na holy land in a war. Cassie main road. Ube who say, Abba to a new open kumsua, the first one who be who feeling stations, et wa to a so. Feeling station, et also me no, no, a quiet da, meaning chim is at the coffin. Fasa quano sua, who could see for me chaya, and no ano, ube who holy land, a sorry no ho. And never see a dan or pay, a summary and on kum. Ukua da, you mean no numify a Bible at this year. And if you are that, and you mean no numify so a year. Empire. Now, and they papa some of our bosono. A year, a dear, I was sending paddy call. I dream you no more pa. It's a say, a dear, yea, yea. Dear, dear, kind, eh? Say, and sorry be o wa. Almost so, almost so for this way, yammy. Almost a page, Jenny Paddy, to say, dear, we ye yammya. Oh, why, dear, empire cry up on your bone was out so funny, dear. Now, Mo amu ye sofu de sano. Ene sofu wa usu uji tu mse uye nyame. She ye e sansa wo wo awufu wo. Ye wo wo. Ene uye ni pa ube wu. Nyame wo ni wufu wo. Ubi ya wono. Onwane bono hon. No ba de. Ene wo ngunso. Enti dia wo ye no. E she nyame ye bufu. Ne de no me biti me asamba usu. Ene wo kase. Ma ye som. A dear bea. Wa can wo esodos achero? Say ya me emra a dikai o de ma is rifle. O se ben ya de bea sasso. E si ho nem koto nem sorino. And nun wa de kapinte ni ni ye example. Se wa ye table, dan e bane beka se table ni ye de papa. Nibu befu sa de wa jri nye juma. Enti se nya mi abwa de nye na. Na wo di adie bi be si ho se e ye nyame a me bu be fu wo pa kire se se nyame do so bibi atumi ye nyame e ye abusudi e na ahwe de no me be ba wo do maso mu amoko to sori e hwoni ni ene adie bi nyame a ye se ye nyame no we ye wo nyame asem ko kenkan ne jai na fa no me ama wo ne maso ye twa to akura me ka E ya hum tisem. Ni se, ni pa o hua hua ni pe bi se we ye nyame. E ya sama are ho pa. So bi ya di e bi ne e broso ne e wan wan. Na ab kwe ni pe bi tisem. Nu wo ti e mu tisem di e. Se ni pa nu ye nyame. Na are ho sem ni se. Ni pa ne e hua hua herod no. Se ni pa ne e wu. Herod iti wu ye nede. Herod mwom ni ukun no. And we see so we are leader, so we are drum penny, so we are here, so I am a penny, so we are wine. Men penny so am a nipa wa wa, so we are yammy. Catcher will say, Oo ye yammy. Then more more fanny dear, yammy see a fair mow, a mow. Now more more fat yammy and moon yam, a mow. Now my yammy boo uncle fool, and no one's a fool. Then yammy shall pa, amen. Amen, mamma. Onya. A busidia ni paye, and a coffin yan coupon bufusier, and a suchin a debray. Nimo be a unimundi, and a radi peset in same way with ye. My dear, it is because of the abominable things that people do that brings God's wrath upon their bloodlines. It could be because you don't know. Yeah. That is why God wants you to hear these things. Mm -hmm. So, as I said in the sermon, if you love yourself and your own children, don't do any of the abominable things you heard. Yeah. Come to church and live for God who will come back and destroy sinners. Yes. If you put God away, I tell you, you will suffer eternally mm -hmm. in the hellfire. Yeah. God is love. Mm -hmm. He wants to save you. Yes. That is why 
I always tell you that come to him. Mm-hmm. And when you come, he has all the power to set you free from anything that has entangled you. Yes. That is why I always tell you that with God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. God bless you. Bless you.